you guys might hear the sizzle right there and you see the Omaha Steaks camera mom's family her mom and dad got us some meat like a whole box full of meats and different items from Omaha Steaks here's the seasoning that comes in the box and you can go on their website they have different prices and stuff that's the seasoning that we have on these particular steaks right now. Camera mom, what kind of steaks are these? All right, so you can't. You heard camera mom. I gotta flip these. They're sitting in a cast iron Butcher's skillet. Butch has cut. They're sitting in a cast iron skillet, and then we're going to put them inside the oven. Hey, hey, hey! hey no, no, no. Okay, I kind of did. No, no, don't scrape off the seasoning when you're flipping them. But hey, I was trying to get them before they burns a little bit as long They're as I'm not going to burn. They'll be alright. But look, guys. Here is the instructions right here. Depending on what you're going to do. If you're using, if you're doing a stove or a grill or something of that nature, it gives you all the instructions here. So let's see if this lives up to the hype with Omaha Steaks being a good brand. And those look delicious so far. So we're going to put them in the oven and then we're going to try them out. There's some other items we're going to make too. So... Hang in there, guys, and we're going to be right back. I'll also give you some price points. All right, this is the box that came in from UPS or FedEx, one of the two. Here's the cooler that all the stuff comes in. These are the other items right here, guys. Uh, some of it is like scalloped potatoes. Uh, some of it is boneless, skinless chicken breast. Uh, what else do we have there? Pure ground uh, beef. And tenderloin then, burgers. Tenderloin burgers. And then we have some jumbo franks. So hot dogs. And we got some pure ground beef. Uh, some more burgers. Burgers right there. And we also got this. So in that same box that said scallops, they also have the scalloped potatoes. Scallop potatoes. They also put in the caramel apple tartlets. So we're going to cook those two for dessert. All right, guys. There's the apple tartlets. They are on some foil on a baking pan, baking sheet. Uh, camera mom, how long did they tell you? 18 to 20 minutes. And how? what's the degrees? 400. All right. We've pulled out the filet mignon, the Omaha steak version right here from camera mom's mom and dad with their holiday gift they got for us on the side here as we do the cutting and eating of the food i'm going to have a little uh, other video right here on the side just showing you a screen recording of all the other uh, offers on omaha, omaha steak and i believe uh this particular holiday basket was holiday box was probably around 99 dollars up you know somewhere between that nature so after this we'll have dessert Guys, we noticed immediately that this is real tender. We went, you can have instructions on there for like rare, medium rare, well done. We went for well done. That's what it looks like on the inside there. Easy to cut, as you can tell. Well, I went for the uh, medium. Yeah. But it was still a little bit too much for us. This is still a bit pink, but. You get that? Is that good? Good. Uh, so a lot of people eat this with like a, a a fork and a knife and all that. I'm just going to pick it up like it's jerky. Uh, I'm going to try it first. They've got some of that Omaha steak seasoning they put on there. And uh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Dude, when you eat yours, have you tried yours? Try yours real quick. Camera mom's eating too. She's got hers right there. She's just holding the phone. Oh my gosh, dude. Mm. That's real good. Let me... I'm going to pour a little bit of A1 right here. You don't need the Just A1. The, dip se it. the seasoning is great. You don't need the A1. Um, but... Just put some on there. Guys, I don't know if you can tell. But my gosh. It's Easy so to chew. Tender. So tender. You know, sometimes when you get a steak or something, you get that stringy pieces. Mm -hmm. No stringy piece so far. Pieces that stick in your teeth. Yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. This is so smooth. And the seasoning. The seasoning is delicious. What do you think, Cameron? Well, the seasoning good? Oh, it's good. I'm going to try it in a little bit. I've got a... I dropped the... Dip the stuff. Uh, the steak pan drippings. Oh, my gosh. That's good. Mm. Mm. Makes it even juicier. Okay, so the uh, filet mignon, yes, butcher's yes. cut, butcher's cut. They select all their stuff. There's a picture right here I'm gonna put up too that also tells a little bit of that information right here. You guys can read that real quick. But we're gonna eat the rest of this, okay? And then we're gonna head into the dessert. So hang in there. Let's keep this going. 
Thank you again, Teresa and Charlie. Thank you. Great gift. So in El Scallop Potato Box, this also comes in there, which is the Caramel Apple Tartlet. Tartlet. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the Caramel Apple Tartlet. And you get four of those as well. Uh, we showed you what the baking instructions were. We showed you in the oven. All right, you get some <laughs> sugar there. Uh, a little crust on the outside. I'm going to cut it open right here. You see the inside there. And I'm going to take a good bite of this right here. Right here. There we go. Get a crust. Get some crust in Ooh, the Ooh, look apples. at it steaming. Be careful. Look at that steaming. Reminds me of a crunchy apple pie. And that's essentially what it kind of is. Mm -hmm. You get a little hint of the caramel. I like the um, the inside of it as well. but The I filling? Prefer, yeah, I like the filling on the inside, but definitely prefer the whole crust and filling and all. Most people don't even eat the pie crust. This is good, the pie crust with it and all. This is good. So, wrapping up everything, on this dessert, you know, A being a good grade, F being a bad, I would give it a solid, you know, like a B, solid B. Uh, it's not completely an A for me. I wish they could do a little bit more, put a little bit more even, you see a few areas got some sugar sprinkles, but maybe a little bit more of that or some more caramel. I don't know. But as far as the steaks, oh man, A being a good grade, F being a bad, those are getting a solid A plus, definitely buy it again. And so far with the experience of Omaha Steaks, uh, the company itself and buying or not buying but getting that as a gift what we got so far so far we got some other boxes to go through but I'm going to be creating me, myself an account and I'm going to definitely probably be buy, purchasing some stuff through Omaha Steaks so thank you Teresa and Charlie once again for a great gift and that way we get in touch with them and now we can get some quality food at home and I think that's the big thing about the steak it's not about having so many more steaks for that price or whatever it's the quality like the cut they said in that uh, the little thing I had had you read earlier uh, showing you on the screen that they have certain inspectors that go out and look at everything before it gets cut and all, they know what they're looking for they have their inspector so it's well worth it I would recommend all home steaks so far based on what we've had and we're gonna try some more stuff we'll keep letting you guys know but I hope you guys enjoyed this video we did a little bit of cooking kind of like we did we're back with that Dollar Tree steak thing but five years ago five years ago but hey you know what this was fun <laughs> we like this all right guys that's all we have don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, guys, happy, what do you want to say? Happy what? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah. it's almost here. It's almost here. And we'll be back again for another video during New Year's or before New Year's or so. But all right, guys. Peace.